Next on our list, we got Jimeno. Wanna do it? Do what? Fuck. Groomers. They seem to be everywhere these days. Church. Politics. YouTube. Now, these examples are real life, and there's only so much you can do about other real people. But anime and manga are created by an author who can make the characters however they want. So because of that, surely there's no weirdos in anime. Fuck. So what exactly is a groomer? According to Urban Dictionary, a groomer is someone who builds a relationship with trust and emotional connection with a child or young person so they can manipulate, exploit, and abuse them. Now, for the sake of this video, it's just going to be someone who's kind of weird and pervy, whether it be towards kids or not. I just said groomer because it sounds better for the title. We have five separate tiers for this video. F tier is extremely mild behavior. C tier is pretty weird pervy behavior. B has some pretty questionable maneuvers. A is the characters who more or less make it their personality. Now, God help your soul if you're into the S tier groomer. These are the straight up grooming deities who you sure as hell know aren't allowed within 16 miles of any school district. With that being said, let's hop into the video. Listen, I know in 2024, this is a controversial opinion, but men and women are not the same. Some 15 year old boy getting to bag his hot in the street is not, not, not the same as a 15 year old girl trying to get an A in the class, if you know what I mean. For that reason alone, that's why these first two characters are in the F tier. Let's first start off with Lucy. She's the absolute bottom of the totem pole at being a groomer. She pretended to like David in order to bait him into Maine and the others. That's literally it. And eventually they did get together, but at that point, David was 18 and it was fully consensual. So yeah, I don't understand all the Lucy grooming memes, to be honest. Next on our list, we got Jimeno. Wanna do it? Do what? Fuck. This one is slightly worse because she, a 20 year old, actually did try to take advantage of Denji, a 16 year old. But two things I will say in her favor. One, she was absolutely wasted. Now, if you were to tell the judge that, it probably wouldn't be the strongest defense, but it should be mentioned. And two, she is bad as fuck, bro. When I was 16, why didn't I have any giga mommies trying to violate me? C tier is short for creepy old shonen masters. We got Master Roshi from Dragon Ball and legendary Sonin Jiraiya from Naruto. Overall, I think Jiraiya is the lesser of the two boomer groomers. He definitely still does some creepy stuff though. According to him, I've come close to death only twice. Once training with Naruto and the four-tailed fox demon appeared. The second time was when he was caught doing research. I broke six ribs both arms, and ruptured a handful of internal organs. Hadraya is a hilarious character because on one hand, he's one of the three legendary Sonin, the one who discovered the truth about pain, the greatest ninja of all time's master. Then on the other hand, he also stalks women at the hot springs and turns the stories into a best-selling hentai <laughs> series. So, yeah. But for me, Roshi is so much worse. Roshi doesn't stalk women like Jiraiya, but when he sees the opportunity to grab some cheeks, he takes it. Let's just start off with the fact this man is the bravest character in fiction. He constantly violates Chi Chi and Bulma, fully knowing who their husbands are. This dude fears no god. One of my favorite Roshi moments is when the airship crashes and he falls on 18. The crash is over, my man just goes for a random motorboat. Like, huh? Man actually needs to be put behind bars because he did it while she was holding her own daughter. Like, that's next level messed up. She literally snaps his neck, almost killing him, and my man goes for round two and hits nothing but net. Ah! It should have been me, not him. It's not fair. Palm from Hunter Hunter is one of the weirdest characters in fiction. When making this video script, I was debating whether Palm should be above the previous two, because all she really did was want to go on a date with Gon, which in itself is very weird because he is like 12. But just going on a date can't be worse than like physically assaulting people, right? But then I realized a fact that solidified this placement for me. It's not that she wanted to go on a date with Gon. It's the fact that she was going to kill them if he didn't. What did he say? Like, bruh. Yeah, Palm is a certified B-tier groomer. Also, I know this is very off topic, but I just remember this one line from the anime. Have you ever been on a date before? Sure, plenty of times. Sometimes ships with all female crews would stop by Whale Island, and some of them would only go out with guys who were younger than them. They call women like that cougars, isn't that crazy? Why is this certified giga chat? Next, we got Robin from Heavenly Delusion. I'm gonna make this one quick because I doubt many of you saw the show. Basically, the main character was gonna die, so his sister sacrificed her body so they could put his brain in her body. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Dude made it his whole life mission to find his old mentor and role model, Robin. When they finally reunited, Robin didn't really care that it was a teenage boy in this teenage woman's body, and um, yeah. Bro, and Maru saw Kiriko. Oh, shit! When I saw this scene, I was getting so hype. Like, this guy dug his own fucking grave. I I I I I I I 
Next up, we got the A-tier Warriors, the semi-pro groomers. Now, I already know one of these will be super controversial, but we will get to that in a minute. But first off, we got Mei Mei. When watching JJK Season 2, I kept hearing fans talking about that scene. Lord, I was unprepared for this scene. <laughs> Now, this scene would already be cursed enough if she was just with some uh, random 11 year old. But, dude, that's her fucking brother! What did he say? <laughs> She's so weird when talking to her brother. No one watches these scenes and isn't uncomfortable. Hey, wee wee. Yes, my queen? Would you die for me? Oh, I would love to. Like, pff, someone call fucking child protective services on this woman. The next placement is Makima. Now I can already smell the comments. Stop typing with your musty Dorito covered hands for just a fucking second and listen. Yes, when it comes to manipulating people's emotions for her own gain, she's definitely the top dog. But bro, I just can't put her in desk tier, I'm sorry. All of her manipulation and a weird pervy behavior to Denji is just so she can get close to the chainsaw devil. She never actually wanted his shmeet. But other than the actually wanting to fuck kids category, she is S tier in every other aspect of grooming. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the final tip of the iceberg. We have two final contestants that are just miles above everyone else in this video. First off, we got potentially the most evil person in fiction, the fifth member of the God Hand, the new Dark God. The one! The only! Griffith! The Eclipse and Berserk may be the absolute worst place anyone could be in anime. Imagine you're a normal human being and you see this wall of fucking demons coming for your cheeks. Oh my lord. Everyone was being violated in these chapters. But um, yeah, I'm not even going to say anything. But once again, with Griffith, if you know, you know. But ladies and gentlemen, we have yet to speak on the godfather of anime grooming. Hosoka! Woo! Woo! What am I doing with my life? Hosoka may not be as vile as Griffith, but when it comes to anime groomers, he is the first person that everyone's mind goes to. He's just so iconic. The way he moans every few seconds thinking about fighting strong people is just so funny. He's literally just Goku if fighting turned him on. The way he licks his lips and moans all over a 12 year old boy, yeah, it's raps. He wins. Other characters try to hide it. This man literally gets boners mid fight. Some could argue he gets turned on by strong fighters and not kids, which sounds right on paper until you remember this one scene. <laughs> Like, if he was wanting to fight them, why wouldn't he just be looking at their face or muscles? Like, why the ass? Yeah, it's clipped and shipped. He's canceled. Subscriber, he'll be in your closet tonight. Oh!